Welcome to the next installment of Embodied Engagement. My name is Kate Crouch, and today we are exploring John Lodge's fracture in the Lee Morrison Gallery here at Missoula Art Museum. Missoula Art Museum sits on the ancestral territories of the Salish and Ponderay peoples, and we respect the indigenous stewards of this land. NAM acknowledges their rich cultures as fundamental to artistic life in Montana and to the work of Missoula Art Museum. We also want to acknowledge that this presentation is being recorded by Missoula Community Access Television as part of a media assistance grant donated to the Missoula Art Museum by MCAT. So as we begin to explore Lodge's work, a couple things to recognize about his method is that he intended the work to have no visual relationship to handprints. He did not want anything to look like it had been touched by himself. And so he uses different things like dripping and scraping. A lot of what we've done with embodied engagement is we've taken what the product is of the art and gone off of that. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna switch and we're gonna embody this process that Lodge has used. So to begin with, just let yourself kind of settle into the ground or into your seat. You'll have the opportunity to move in just a moment. And if you'd prefer to stay in a chair, that's great. But go ahead, tap into the sensation of grounding in your body. John Lodge is a jazz musician, and he plays with, in his music work, the randomization of music and his jazz within the constructs of formality. You can see his improvisational work from jazz translate into his painting. So we'll settle our bodies. And then I'm going to invite you to find the musicality in your own body. We'll start with just paying attention to your breath. No need to shape the breath. Just notice an inhale and exhale. And it might even be useful to take the hands onto the belly. So you can feel how your body moves with the breath in and out. Let yourself settle again, maybe a little wiggle. And then add in searching for your heartbeat. So we have these two different tempos, the breath and the beat of the heart. Once you feel grounded and connected, I'll invite you to stand up. And we'll just start to move our bodies in a swaying motion. So you can feel your body start to shift and just get used to transitioning weight from the left to the right, and then move in forward and back. So the artist uses different motions like scraping, pressing, pulling to create the work both against a wall as well as the floor. Getting used to just having some musicality in your body as you play with sweeping back and forth. And now I'll invite you to push. So we'll start by pushing the arms. And then think about pushing above you and pushing down. So just get used to pressing, pushing. And then see if you can involve the feet as well as you push the ground away. Come back to your center. 
and take another breath. <sighs> Tap back into the breath and into your own musicality of your heartbeat. We're gonna do some scraping with our feet. So you're gonna scrape your foot across the floor in front of you. It can be forward and back. Just think about scraping. So as I said, one of the techniques that Lodge uses is scraping with a palette knife. So feel that scraping with your feet. And then we're gonna scrape with our arms across. So you can feel that energy, maybe even fingers together, scraping up and down. And then see if it's comfortable for you. We're gonna make our way onto the floor. Make your way to the ground. You could be on your bottom. You could be on your knees. But we're gonna scrape with our hands onto the ground. And just feel the pressure of scraping, pushing, and pulling. Tap back into the breath. And maybe start to match that movement and breath together. It might be fun to bring your legs around and do the same thing with your feet. Scrape, push, pull, using your whole body. And then we'll come all the way back up. Feel free to stay on the ground if you'd like. I'm gonna come up to stand to tap back in, breath. feeling the heartbeat. And then we're gonna move like we're dripping. Another method that is used and you can see is the splatter and the drip. So it's not what is actually produced, but it's how it's done. So there's some dripping. Just think about dripping or flicking like you have paint on your hands. And feeling that sensation of that randomness, where could it possibly land? And being more curious about the space between the action and the product. So it's kind of hard to just imagine. And this might be really fun for you to do on your own, get out your own paints get really weird, but paint all over your hands and your feet. But right now we'll just flick and drip. And back, take a breath. Just notice how your body feels. Become aware of all the energies that are going around. Maybe some curiosity. And then I'm gonna invite you just to play with these different motions. And maybe even, if you feel comfortable, start to turn your whole body as you flick, scrape, press, pull, glide, and just spend the next few minutes fully engaging your body and allowing it to be random. Try not to repeat the same thing twice. So if you start to twist in one direction, try and change it. Improvising all your different movements. If you find that you're becoming much more round, try and become more angular. And just play round, sweep, Drip, kick, twist for another minute or so. Stomp. Change your perspective. And 
stillness. Back to the hands on the belly or heart. <sighs> Just enjoying that sensation of movement. <sighs> Feeling the body excited or calm. <sighs> and take a moment to thank yourself for taking some time out of your day to explore, become creative, maybe in a new way. I wanna take a moment to thank the artist, John Lodge, for providing this little spark of creativity. I hope that you enjoyed this session. Feel free to do it again, anytime. And absolutely, I would encourage everyone if they feel comfortable to either watch the interview with John Lodge, the other YouTube <laughs> portion, or to come down and see this exhibit. This is only a fraction of fracture. <laughs> this is only a small part. This is one of my favorite things that I've ever seen here. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.